Senior Week. I'm Blaze Hewlett. And I'm Madison Laris. And you're watching BGTV. This week on BGTV, our sportscaster, Nick Pelkey, will tell us about a new popular sport called spike ball. We'll have another installment of 21 Questions with Ryan Lerner. Stephanie Fuentes will give us an overview on one of the most exciting weeks of the year. And finally, we'll see what Julian is up to this week on Julian on the Street. And now for some announcements. Family ID will open up for all JV and varsity fall sports on August 1st and close on August 18th. Family ID will open for all modified sports on August 16th and close on September 1st. If you have any questions, please stop by the athletic office. Governor Andrew Cuomo announced the Get a Shot to Make Your Future COVID-19 Vaccine Incentive for 12 to 17 year olds. Participants can enter into a random prize drawing to potentially receive a full scholarship to a SUNY or CUNY college beginning May 27th. New York State will administer the random drawings and select 10 winners a week over the next five weeks for a total of 50 winners. If you ordered a yearbook, you can pick it up during your lunch period in room 172 next to the auditorium. Seniors can pick up their books on June 14th. Everyone else can pick up their books on June 15th and June 16th. Please check the Guidance Office Bulletin Board for job opportunities. And here's your weekly reminder that all school meals, breakfast, and lunch will be served free of charge until the end of the year. This is only for school meals and does not include a la carte or snacks. Spike ball is a new sport that I think everyone should try. Even if you're just looking to have fun with friends or compete in a competition, spike ball is something for everyone. And I'm not going to go in and explain how the entire game is played because it takes me all day, but I'm just going to say that if you know friends who want to play spike ball, just go out and try it. It's a great way to stay in shape this summer and also just go out and have fun and enjoy the weather. See you next time, Wizards. I hear Ryan Lerner's got an extra special installment of 21 Questions. Something tells me we know a bit about this guest already. Let's check it out. Oh, you can look it up? What's going on, Mr. Waldy? Are you ready for your 21 Question BGTV interview? I, I hope so. We'll see. I've never actually been on BGTV before. All right, so how are you doing? Uh, I think I'm doing alright. I'm doing good. How are you? I'm doing pretty good, thank you. So, sum up for me what your day is looking like. Uh, my day is looking really good. Uh, yesterday we interviewed some candidates to be uh, new art teachers here at the high school and that's fun. And today we're continuing with that process and we've got students here who are getting work done for the show. Very nice. Getting work done for the show. <laughs> so, what is your favorite class to teach? I gotta admit, I mean, we're here right now, but it's definitely BGTV because we have really good students and they're really motivated. They're really, they're really into what we're doing and it's fun. <laughs> awesome, great. So we're gonna go back to the past a little bit. What was your favorite class to take in high school? I'm gonna admit something right now. I, I don't remember a lot of high school. <laughs> <laughs> and how do you normally spend your summer breaks? I, we do what's called dad camp. So I have a third grade and a fifth grade daughter and I work on our house until uh, lunchtime, and then at lunchtime we go hiking or swimming or we do stuff. Uh, so that's how my summer spent. Super fun. Now, do you or did you play any sports? I never played sports in high school, and it wasn't until I was in my mid-30s that I discovered, uh, discovered Ultimate Frisbee, and I play Ultimate Frisbee in leagues and on teams uh, like a fanatic. Awesome, cool. And you so- know, Do you still need help? Uh, yes, please. All right, can I come back to you in like a minute? Yeah, yeah, yeah awesome. Of All right. I right, have to go into the studio for something. You want to come along? Absolutely, for sure. All right. So, uh, what does your I'll lunch look out. like? My lunch, I'll have to admit, I have a history of um, going out to buy lunch, and this year I've made an effort to actually bring lunch more often to be a little more healthy. Awesome. And what does that lunch consist of usually? Uh,. Well, I do 95% of all the cooking at home, grocery shopping and cooking, so my lunches have been leftover dinner components from the night before. So we do a lot of pasta, a lot of fish, a lot of grilled veggies, that kind of stuff. Cool. Yeah. Now, do you have a morning routine that gets you ready for class? 
Not really. I mean, I guess so. You know, like everybody, I mean, I get up, I make breakfast, I avoid the puppy that we just got so that my children have to take care of the dog that they wanted. Olivia, are you getting work done? Yeah, I'm working on my newsletter, Mr. Waldy. All right, okay, all right, good. Bree, are you good? Do you need anything? No, I'm good, thank all right. you. All right, all right. And uh, do you usually have a hype song in the morning to kind of get you ready for the day? Oh, I have to stay quiet because I wake up so much earlier than everybody else. I usually am like creeping around quietly opening doors and quietly making <laughs> food and creeping out of the house. Awesome. Yeah. And have you ever gotten in trouble in school before? There's no way I'm gonna answer that question right now. <laughs> <laughs> Is it something bad? Not super bad, but uh, not something I'd want on camera. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> Understandable. Yeah. So, what is a typical Saturday night like for Mr. Waldy? Well, probably more, more boring than, uh, than I would hope for, but fairly boring. I have young kids and we're just so busy all the time. There really isn't a lot of free time to do fun stuff. Nice. But, all right, so I'm going to ask you... Are good? Mm -hmm. Podcasting, you're good? Yep. All right. So I'm gonna ask you a few would you rather questions. All right. So would you rather be too busy or too bored? Oh my goodness, definitely I would rather be way too busy. I'm all constantly taking on and doing more things and doing more things. So, all right. Definitely. Would you rather be in your pajamas or your work clothes all day? Well, when you say work clothes, <clears throat> I don't mean school clothes. I, I would definitely be work clothes, but it's because I'm constantly uh, building my house. I've been working on my house for like uh, four years. So Very nice. when I'm at home, I'm like wearing rags basically and <laughs> like crawling on the roof. Gotcha. Gotcha. Uh, would you rather never mentally age or physically age? Definitely. I would rather, uh, mentally age because, uh, like I said, I play ultimate Frisbee mm -hmm. and everyone I play with is in their mid twenties and I'm in my early fifties and I want to stay as competitive against those young punks as possible. <laughs> and how long have you been playing ultimate Frisbee? Uh, I started late. I didn't start till I was like 35. Oh. So, um, I've been pay playing for almost 20 years actually, which is nuts. Wow, that's I never crazy. thought of it that actually. It's older than me. <laughs> Would you rather be a kid your whole life or an adult? I'm a fairly immature 50 year old, so uh, I definitely I would want to maintain the childhoodness, you know, the <laughs> child qualities. Yeah, totally understandable. Uh, what? Tell me your favorite fast food restaurant and what your order would be. I seldom. I'm gonna say I haven't eaten fast food in probably 15 years. Whoa! <laughs> but um, I am a fan of a good burger. Um, and there's a place in the city that whenever we go to the city, we go to Dumont Burger and get burgers. Awesome. I should say, I get burgers. My wife's a vegetarian. You go to a burger place, you get the burgers. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so, what is something on your bucket list you would like to do? You know, I gotta admit, I think I'm really conscious of the fact that things are going really well. I've got a great family, I've got a great job, I work with great students. There, in all honesty, there aren't a lot of uh, things on my bucket list. I will say that I started my career late, so I did a lot of things earlier in life that some people look forward to later, like I hitchhiked through Europe, I lived in Japan for two months, and I've done strange things that a lot of people do after they retire already. Gotcha, awesome. Yeah. Uh, so what is a quote or mantra that you live by? I am a fan of NPR, and I will continue going. Um, and at the end of this one NPR show, the, the host leaves the show by saying, um, be well and do good work. And it's that do good work part that I always, I always think about. Like, the thing that you do every day should be something that you're proud of. Um, uh, and I'm conscious of that, so I, I do that. Yeah. Awesome. And what is a hobby that you do nobody knows about? It's funny, you know, I think as a teacher, uh, we are always putting ourselves on display, so I don't know that there is a hobby that no one knows about, um, other than Frisbee and working on my house, you know. <laughs> nice. Now, trick question. If you had a time machine, would you travel to the past or the future? Um, I think I would definitely go to the future. Are you guys good? You guys lost? <laughs> oh, you just giving us space? <laughs> Um, if, uh, if I could, I think the future in all honesty, I think we live in a politically slightly scary time and I'm curious to see how it all pans <laughs> out. I mean, I'm talking like five years, the future, not even 25 years in the future. So yeah, not Oh wow. Long. I didn't really think about it like that. It's very <laughs> cool. <laughs> uh, what song do you know all the lyrics to? Uh, musically, I'm really, you know, it's funny. The music I like 
I seldom listen to the lyrics. I get more into like the sound of the music overall. And lately I have been into, I'm not kidding right now, but uh, Kenyan music from the 70s. <laughs> so I don't even know what they're saying because it's in a language I don't speak. <laughs> <laughs> and what sparked your interest for that? song popped up on Spotify one day and it intrigued me and I do a little more searching and you find other uh, songs along those lines and before you know it you've got a playlist of stuff you'd have never thought of listening to. Huh, very cool. And this is my last question for you. Go ahead. Where do you see yourself in 10 years? Well, I started teaching late so I will definitely still be teaching in 10 years. Um, uh, yeah, so I'll definitely be right here, probably in the same spot in 10 years. <laughs> awesome. Mr. Waldy, well, thank you so much for being with BGTV today for your 21-question feature story. All right. Thank you, Ryan. Thanks, Ryan. That was an awesome way to learn more about one of my favorite media and journalism teachers. Now, we'll take a quick commercial break, and after, we'll get right into the excitement that was senior week. As the school year is coming to a close, we want to remind our wizards to keep working hard. The end might be near, but there is still a little work left to do. But just remember, Wizard Nation, you got this. I'm here in the senior Washingtonville High School parking lot and it's spirit week so let's check out day one USA day So Karina, explain this USA Day outfit. So I really didn't have much. I just found like this um, USA shirt, so I put that on. And then my friend gave me some props because I didn't have anything because I was very unprepared for Spirit Week. I mean Senior Week, but um, yeah, I put it together. Spirit Week. I'll see you next week, Wizards.
Thanks, Stephanie. It truly was a senior week to remember. You know, I'm so glad that we're finding some sort of normalcy and bringing back our in-person community events. Ryan Smith attended Mask and Mimes Cabaret Night. Let's see what some of our wizards got to perform. I'm here with Gabby Gellies, president of Mask and Mime. So Gabby, before the show starts, how are you feeling? Um, honestly, I'm a little nervous because it is my last time going up there, but uh, I'm really excited because this has been a long waited for this entire event to come and the fact that we're doing it um, outside is even better. Yeah. yeah, definitely. So during the show, how are you? How do you feel about performing? I really don't try to think about like performing, if that makes sense. Like I don't really think about anything when I'm performing. Um, I kind of just go up there, perform, and do it. And it's more like after that I'm like, okay, yeah, I did it. I'm done. It's over. I just saw you perform. That was amazing. How do you How do you feel right now? Um, I'm actually really. I didn't expect to cry, and I started crying. So that's the thing. Um, yeah, it's my last performance, so I'm kind of it's bittersweet. But I think everybody did good. Um, I'm gonna miss Mask and Mime. Yeah. Thank you very much for helping me today. Thank you. Congratulations to all of the talented students on a successful cabaret, especially after such a tough year. Speaking of music, Julian Puello will test people's knowledge on this week's segment of Julian on the Street. Hello, I'm Julian from Julian on the Street, and I was wondering, since I was in a band room, if people could guess a song within five seconds. Let's hear it. Okay. That's it. <laughs> what is it. What's the song? And now, is that Barry Manilow? No. It isn't? No. Um, something about love. How, what, what's the next part of the song? I can't remember. <laughs> it's Sweet Caroline. Sweet Caroline. By Neil Diamond. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. I'm not a Neil Diamond fan. <laughs> Thank you. I'm sorry. Ready? What song? What song is this? You don't? Well, who's it by? That's definitely Lil Baby. Who? Lil Baby. The song is um Who I Want. Okay, bye. Thank you. <laughs> you you still can't figure it out? So what, what is, is it? Is it here by Alicia Keys? No, Alessia Cara, but it is here. Oh, Alessia Cara? Yes. And I just can't imagine how you could be so okay. It's driver's license by Olivia Rodrigo. Uh, no? No. <laughs> okay, ready? What are the lyrics? No, no, no. You only get five seconds, Sammy. Oh, what? Yeah, okay, ready? Set. Oh, yes, thank you. Song. Yes. Anything else? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you go keep your distance? Okay, okay. Well, okay, I don't okay. have to go. Yeah, like okay. <laughs> well, it's fine. Right. Um, yeah, that's what I'm trying to fit in there. So, <laughs> deep in the water. Yeah, am I fine here? Yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> okay, so what song is this? Happy by Marshmallow? Wait, what is it? Happy by Marshmallow? It's by Marshmallow, but that's not the name of the song. Uh, I don't know the name of it then. It's Happier. Happier. Yeah. Oh. What song is this? Ready? Okay. Oh. Um. That's like, it. That's it? Well, who, who's the singer? It's Sleepy Hollow. Yeah, but what's the song? Um, isn't it from it his new with, album? It starts with two. 2055, I think? Oh, Something no. like that? 
two sauce. Two sauce? Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> no way, it's from the same out. You're yeah. bugging, bro. Thank you. I gotta, go. I gotta go. That's the only thing I want for Christmas. Um, going bad by Meek Mill. Dang. Yeah, no, Thank fast. you. Yeah. My, okay. mem my memory for this stuff is terrible, you know that, right? Okay. Right. You'll figure this out. What song is this, Mr. Calderon? Alright, I'm ready. This is the weekend. Yeah. What song is that? Blinding Lights? No, no, that's a different one. It's the other one he has. The new remix with um, Ariana Grande. Oh, gosh. Man, I'm gonna mess this up. Runaway? I made that up. I don't know. Yeah. What's up? You, what, you I can't understand the lyric. It saved your tears. So save your tears. Oh my gosh. Ready? For what? What is the song? I don't know. I don't know who that is. I don't know. You don't know? I don't know that, bro. It's Ski by Young Stoner Life. Five seconds. What's the song? I got no clue. It's Monster. <laughs> Wait, why are you looking? What song is this? House of the Rising Sun. By who? In New Orleans. By who? I don't know. By the animals. By the animals. You well, good job. Needed, you didn't you told me I needed the name of the song. You didn't tell me the, 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 the Okay, thank you. <laughs> Obviously, from watching that, a lot of people don't know their music. But I hope you enjoyed. Bye. That's all we have for this week, Wizards. Be sure to check out our weekly newsletter and podcast. I'm Madison Laris. And I'm Blaze Hewlett. Thanks for watching this week's episode of BGTV. BGTV.